G'day everyone, we're out here at Tia Falls. This is one of the tributaries to the Maclay River. You access Tia Falls via the Oxley Highway between Walker and Port Macquarie, closer to the Walker side. Let's go and take a walk and see how it is. The entrance to the Tia Falls is via the unsealed Tia Falls Road through farmland and this takes you to the southern edge of Oxley Wild Rivers National Park. The road is two-wheel drive accessible, but low cars like ours need to take it a bit slower. The National Park covers a large section of Dungudi country in the upper Maclay Valley. The car park and camping area are serviced by amenities including picnic areas, barbecues and toilets. There are several longer trails in this section of the park, but today we will just be taking the short trail along the Tia Falls Walk, and that takes us to two viewing platforms, which give us view over Tia Falls and the Tia Gorge. There is evidence of the recent fires here a few years ago, but with all the rain we've had then, the vegetation is recovering well, just as nature intended it to. At the junction of the two trails, you can stop and get a sneak peek of the falls. This waterfall is magnificent. It has a 100 metre drop and the gorge itself is over 100 metres deep. And from this viewpoint, the gorge here is over 400 metres wide. It's huge. After this junction, the track is no longer sealed and quite rocky, so not suitable for wheelchairs. The walk takes you through dry Gondwana eucalypt forests. This national park is rich in rare species of flora and fauna. There's over 950 native plant species which have been now identified and of at least 36 of these are threatened species. There is plenty of wattle here so beware if you have hay fever and you're here in August and September as that is the peak flowering season. There are over 350 species of native fauna in the park including 55 mammals. The fauna includes kangaroo, wallabies, bandicoots, koalas, wombats, bats, quolls, possums, platypi, wedge-tailed eagles, goannas, dingoes, and of course snakes, among many, many others. Toward the end of the trail, you reach the Tia Falls overview, which gives you a stunning view of the falls from a distance of around 300 metres. The geology of the area showcases a rich metamorphic history and it's a paradise for geologists who have produced multiple fascinating studies of this region. A little further on from the overlook is the lookout which gives you a view north over the Tia Gorge which winds its way towards the Apsley and Maclay rivers. It's such a magnificent view.
And that's the end of the trail. Time to head back, but not without taking the time to enjoy this beautiful area. Well, that brings us to the end of this very short episode. We just were getting out of the house. I've been marking university papers all week and Scott's been in his office doing his work. So it was good to just get out and stretch our legs. It's not far from home, just an afternoon out for us. But if you're in the New England area and you visit Apsley Falls, which is just down the road, don't forget to pop into the less known Tia Falls and take this beautiful walk. It's well worth your while good and good for your legs. <laughs>